Hello and welcome to my channel and this is the third pick a card reading that's in my kind of more kid series uh, and this one is about your future family. What's your future family going to be like? What's it gonna look like? Um, maybe what kind of people will be in it? How many? We'll see what comes through and I'm excited for this one. Um, if you haven't seen the previous two pick a card readings I did that are part of this kind of series, one of them is about your future child, grandchild, or niece or nephew if you're not going to have any of the others. And the other one is about what your inner child um, needs right now. So yeah, I have three groups here to pick from and fun Today we're picking with Pokemon cards. These are some playing cards, Pokemon playing cards I had when I was a kid. Um, so this is the first one for group number one. This is equivalent to the Ten of Wands and this is Vaporeon if you know the Pokemon. Um, yeah, group number one has this and group number two has this equivalent to four of cups. So we have two Pikachus and one Charmander. And group number three has these two little Pikachus. And this, um, so the, the Jack, I think, <laughs> uh, of cups and this one is equivalent to I think people both take it as a uh, knight and page. It's kind of your own interpretation. And, you know, I'll get deeper into it when I get to group number three. But yeah, these are your groups to pick from. Mm, fun Pokemon card picking today. I hope you enjoy this video. I'll give you some time and then I'll move on to group one. Hello group one, you guys picked this Vaporeon card and this one, the Ten of Wands, with it you also got, interestingly enough, these have the same image, so I'll bring up one of them. This one is, I guess, the Page slash Knight of Swords and also the Queen of Cups and here we have the Ten of Pentacles, looking very interesting. So I feel like in your future, I can see quite a lot of diversity in your family. I feel like it's going to be a big family. That's the feeling I'm getting. Either you're going to have a lot of kids, grandkids, or siblings and stuff are going to have a lot of kids. But I do see, I get a feeling of a lot of kids. And I mean, if those of you... If there's those of you that don't uh, want children or anything and are not going to have any of that, maybe your kids are going to be pets. But I can definitely see a lot of kids. And um, I feel like it's with um, this 10 of wands technically coming through, it might be hard taking care of all of them. Um, it might be a bit of a handful with all of them. But also this card with Vaporeon, it really reminds me of kind of the Queen or King of Cups as well because it's a water Pokemon and it's, you know, very regal looking, uh, which we have the Queen of Cups here as well. So I see that um, there's going to be a very nurturing, I'm guessing it's going to be you, a very nurturing figure. Um, you're probably going to be like, like a mother of these kids, even if you're not a female. <laughs> you're going to be very good to them. And um, I don't know, with this night slash um, page of... I feel like it's a, it's a mix of both, honestly. Like, there's two Pokemon in it, and it's like the page and the knight of swords. Both energies mixed together, kind of. Um, I feel like there's... You're all going to communicate a lot, talk a lot. Um, I don't know if you're necessarily going to get along fully, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication in your family and a lot of understanding, especially you are going to be very understanding towards everyone. 
and of course taking care of everyone and I really get the sense of a really happy family, a big happy family living together having fun and I feel like you will be different like there there will be some of you some people in the family who are more emotional others who are more grounded others who are just um you know crazy like quick and playful um and yeah I feel like it's going to be a very diverse family like diverse and fun you're gonna be fun to be around. So let's get the other cards that I got um, through as well. So we have the Four of Swords here, the King of Wands, and the Page of Wands. And the Six of Cups here. Oh, so cute! Again, a lot of children. I see a lot of children here. I really get the sense of a lot of children, a lot of, you know, fun. I feel like you're going to have a little garden and have fun in the garden. I feel like you're going to have a very nice house as well. That's, I don't know, something I'm getting. Maybe one of you um, that's part of the family is going to be really into um, decorating and just homey life. Um... Four of Swords coming through as well. <laughs> There's going to be definitely also a relaxed moment. Maybe some members will be on the lazy side. Will like to lay around. Maybe all of you, just as a family, like to lounge around together. Um, and just enjoy your time together. Interesting that we are getting also this Page of Wands and the King of Wands. Definitely a patern a strong paternal figure here coming through as well. So I feel like there's going to be both. There's going to be both a strong uh, feminine and a strong masculine in the family. Taking care of the little ones and helping them grow. Look at this page of ones. You know, it's like the king is taking care of him. He's teaching him how to do things. And same with the queen here teaching the page slash night <laughs> and the kids here. I don't know. I see a lot of um, just you teaching these children how to grow, how to mature. Also a very uh, authoritative figure. Like if you say something, you might say it with love, but they will listen. Like you'll make them listen. <laughs> That's the kind of feeling I'm getting. You'll make them listen. <laughs> You listen, you sit down right now. <laughs> um, and they're like, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, or try to like, <laughs> I don't know, bribe them with sweets. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be funny. Also, I'm getting a spiritual feeling here as well. With these wand cards. Um, and the four of swords that can be... Uh, signaling to us that maybe you could have some kind of meditation practices together. Um, you could all be into spirituality. You can teach them about spirituality, your whole family about it. Get them to open up. Since you're like a heart-centered person, you'll teach them a lot about love and the universe and how to just um, be practices as well so we get the three of pentacles again the queen of cups coming through i guess this is a very prominent and important figure here and again the page of swords coming through so i can see that you guys are really going to be working together like you're going to be a family that's you know happy and working together properly all the cogs are working uh, together they're all different sizes and shapes but you're all working together you all have different skills but again you're all working together to um, you know just enjoy your family life and again I, I really feel like you're gonna have a strong emotional bond together a very strong emotional bond um, and it's, it's going to be a lot because of you. You are the one who's going to introduce, like, sharing your emotions, expressing your emotions to everyone. 
your influence is very strong on this family. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting uh, with you, group number one. I feel like you're very strong and strong in like the sense like the strength card. You have a lot of compassion for people and for everyone in your family. Um, so you will help them grow in more ways than one. I feel like you are teaching them with love and with com communication. So they might start off kind of crazy and, you know, wild, but they will grow into proper um, children. I'm really talking a lot about children here. You really could benefit from watching uh, the Your Future Child slash Grandchild video because you are definitely going to have some kind of children in your life in the future, in your family. And I think it's going to be a very important part uh, for you to play in the family as like a, a teacher, a nurturer. <clears throat> so we also got here Master Buddha. Deep connection. Again, you are going to have a very deep connection with these uh, people in your family, with the people. And this doesn't have to be like your current family, your parents, siblings, if you have any. It can be your um, future family, like your children, your mother-in-law, so on, uh, your in-laws. Um, but I can feel a strong connection there, and uh, you will feel it as well with them. And again, a, ve a spiritual feeling, trusting, uh, your awareness is high. These children, they're also going to be very aware spiritually. And again, it's going to be on you to trust your instincts and teach them everything they need to know about the world and how to how to maneuver it. We got the cosmic sapphire as well. Act with honor and integrity. Speak your truth a lot. Um, with a, a lot of the swords, a lot of about speaking as well. Uh, communication is going to be very important in your family. So communicating clearly, be sure to speak honestly with them. Speak from your heart. Be honest. Um, yeah, let's see what other oracle cards came through. Star family. Uh, I guess you really will have a deep connection with some of them. Some of them will literally be from your star family, which is amazing. You know, they're souls that you have already met in other lives. So that's exciting. Wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. So if you're feeling like, where's this family? I need them right now. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's, um, there's no rush here. There's time. All of this will grow slowly. Slowly, your family. You know, you're going to start finding the people, finding, maybe you haven't, don't even have your spouse yet. Finding that person, then, you know, <laughs> building the family, obviously. So don't rush anything. This is all going to be divine timing. Meeting these people, um, these children coming in, it will all be divine timing. They'll come at the right time for you. So don't don't rush it. And Magnolia Fairy. When you release doubt, you'll discover the astounding power and strength deep within you. So something to remember is not to doubt yourself, especially when dealing with kids. Don't doubt yourself. They can feel it. <laughs> if they feel that you're doubting yourself, um, they're going to doubt you too. So it's going to be really important to believe in yourself. And I think that's partly what your family is going to teach you, being in it. To not doubt yourself, to see how strong you are. Because you're going to be dealing with so many kids, potentially. So, yeah, you're going to need some strength for that. Oof, we, we're having some prop issues there. <laughs> Spirit guides coming through as well. The past has been difficult, but now is the time to believe in your abilities and walk your pathway with confidence. I see. Be confident. Again, a lot, a very similar kind of message here, like the Magnolia Fairy. Uh, recognize your strength and, you know, power. 
and release the doubt because you know the more you walk with confidence the more confident you are others will see that notice that and they will believe in you trust you and like it says here the path has been difficult maybe your life so far has been difficult and maybe some moments here will be difficult but believe in yourself that you can get through it um yeah no one said having a family is easy but at least it can be fun <laughs> that's what i'm feeling for you it doesn't have to be easy but it, it can definitely be fun a lot of fun a lot of bonding a lot of beautiful moments that's what i see for you anyway group number one i'm gonna end it here i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you thought about this and leave a like subscribe if you're interested in a personal reading details about how you can contact me are down below anyway i hope you have a great day bye hello group two this is the card that you picked the four of cups and i'd like us to look at it now so we have two pikachus if you know the pokemon if you don't it's fine <laughs> and a charmander but this charmander doesn't look how he usually looks he looks completely different i mean the color is completely different so he's special so that makes me feel like in your family there's going to be someone who's very very special like different um i'm even being led to believe like to think not believe um maybe if you're if you still haven't found the spouse or if you have maybe you're from different races um so he he or she is completely different from you and it also ha i am so getting the feeling of a child here maybe two children let's see the other cards that you got you got <laughs> two kings the king of pentacles and the king of cups let's bring them forward a bit so there are two Pik pikachus um looking very happy and basically what does this tell us about your future family your family in the future i feel like there's going to be a lot of masculine energy there um in in everyone from the family and I feel like <laughs> I, I'm getting the feeling of kind of like a fun, wacky family. Like, like you guys are different. In some way, you're very different. A very different family. Um, so take it as you will, you know. Uh, not, obviously, not everyone wants to have children. Um, you might have something else as like a child, like a pet. Or you might... Um, <laughs> I don't know, you're different in some way. <laughs> you're definitely different. Either you're the different one or your spouse is very different or your whole family is just different from the ones around you. Um, but I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be a, a family, like I said, a very, uh, a lot of masculine energy here, divine masculine, but also because it's the pentacles and the um, cups, it's also a warm masculine energy, like un t nurturing and kind of taking care of. Uh, I also, maybe you might be, I don't know about wealthy, but well, um, well, well financed, <laughs> have enough money and finances and maybe have a nice place. Um, let's see what other cards you got i'm really curious so that we can talk more about this so knight of cups king of swords another king more masculine energy another king king of pentacles wow that's absolutely crazy seven of swords and six of pentacles i see one or more than you of you are going to be um definitely more spiritual but the other person is more practical i feel like and down to earth but you're it, this person is still led internally 
I really feel like I feel like creativity, um, I don't know, kind of romance there. And of course, so much of this very grown up energy, very grown up and mature. And th this is also an interesting bunch, seven of swords and six of pentacles. I'm wondering if one of the people is going to have be carrying too much baggage at some point. Maybe some secrets. But they're not going to stay secrets for long. Or if something was taken away, it will be given back. That's the kind of feeling I'm getting here. I feel like this person, two elephants here coming through, I feel like there's a reason for that is going to be very generous as well, this King of Swords person. Whoever this is, this could be you, or this could be the other, uh, your significant other, or someone else in the family. But they're going to be very generous to people, to uh, your children, to other people's children. And again, I really get the feeling of being well off. If it's so I'm not fully understanding why the Seven of Swords is even here. I don't see you guys uh, stealing, maybe being stolen from, potentially, if you are wealthy. But there, there is, of course, something there. <clears throat> and I even have more tarot cards, as if these were not enough. So let's see. Let's get the full picture here. We need a full picture. We have the chariot, the ten of wands, uh, the page of cups, and the king of swords. Again, a king of swords. So king of pentacles coming through twice, king of swords coming through twice. I, again, I don't want to keep reiterating, but very masculine energy, which might make things a bit um, hard sometimes. It might feel, um, I don't know, like overwhelming dealing with everyone, especially if everyone is uh, predominantly divine masculine. It might feel like everyone is competing because I feel like um, you're going to be successful, like a successful family. And everyone, even the children, are going to want to be successful. It's like a feeling of competing with each other in a way, or want having so much drive that the drive and sometimes can bring you down, like it can be too much. So I feel like you would benefit from, I feel like that's why the Page of Cups is coming through here. You would benefit from some water, you would benefit from um, some more divine feminine energy, <laughs> if I can, is the best way I can describe it. Um, with more ca calming energy, um, with trying to be more in tune with your emotions. I feel like that's not going to be on the forefront fully for you, like to uh, speak to each other about emotions. I feel like you're going to have um, your own kind of things that you like doing, and maybe you can chat about that, but about emotions maybe later on you can start talk you will start talking about that but i i am going getting a bit of a cold vibe as well from at least one of the people here like they don't really like expressing their emotions and during this family time i feel like they're gonna start kind of learning or they have to start kind of learning it i guess we'll see how they do in the future you will see how they do if they actually manage to learn how to do that. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's going to be very important to learn how to do that. Because they, they might be very generous, but that doesn't mean that they can open up properly and they can express themselves fully properly. Um, I got this oracle card here as well, the daisy. Hmm, interesting that the daisy is coming through. This card might be implying that you really might lose something 
because with the seven seven of swords here someone stealing something or something being taken away from you with the daisy i can see grief for something that you had uh, that you were that was taken away from you or that someone who left or someone who maybe passed on but it's also a feeling of renewal where something new will come so i can see a loss in the future in your family a big one but from that loss will come even more like new things and better things of course when you lose a person you know, it's hard to replace a person but mm, I don't, I, I'm feeling like if you lose a parent you will gain either a child or a grandchild that kind of feeling but it might it might be it might play out in some kind of other way in your particular life that's just an example have Elmoira here. No, Elmoria. Probably said that wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Awakening presence. The universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. Hmm. Awakening. Together with this family, it's your mission to kind of awaken and learn more. Together. Learning together. Awakening together. Like, that's probably why this page is here awakening together that's really sticking with me and each of you protecting each other like you're very protective of each other you all protect each other uh, that divine masculine energy protecting you're a protector your spouse is a protector everyone <laughs> loves protecting the others in this family um and i obviously I feel like you guys were all led to each other. This was all very mm, divinely orchestrated. Which most things in life are, let's let's be honest. When we look at them, a lot of them can be. Um, I am present. Expand your stellar gateway. Yeah, a lot of awakening here. Together, you'll awaken together. You'll learn more about your true selves um you will just grow maybe you're gonna be the one helping everyone else awaken or maybe you're just all gonna grow together you'll see i guess in the future and listen to your heart again awaken psychic abilities and tune into the infinite so this family even if you start off having no interest or your family starts off having no interest in psychic abilities and spirituality in the future, they will slowly start opening up and you're probably going to be the one helping them, teaching them, nurturing them and helping them grow karmic relationships. Ah, this explains what I was feeling before very well. How with this card, I was kind of getting this feeling like th this is meant to be like this uh, family, this re these relationships. I think it's part of some kind of karmic relationship you guys have lived together before all of you you in different lives and now you're meeting again for a reason it doesn't have to be bad karma by the way um but if there is conflict and a kind of um strain there um with the relationships you should know that that's coming so that you guys can grow. And polarity, I can feel that you guys are all very going to be very different and all very commanding with all of these kings coming through. Everyone is kind of going to be very stubborn, most likely. Everyone is going to um, have maybe even big egos, which is something um, you'll probably all have to learn to grow out of. And, you know, <laughs> whether you do or not... Um, I guess it's all of your, each of your choices. And the last card I have for you here is I believe. Believe in your abilities to accomplish great things. Move forward in the profound way needed to uh, for your future work. Yeah, believe in your abilities. I mean, I can see that in the future you will believe in yourself. Everyone will believe in you and your whole family. You all believe in each other. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much in some at some point. <laughs> Uh, maybe a bit some a bit of overconfidence at some points as well. Um, so make sure to keep try to keep that in check um, for yourself, at least. 
but yeah believe in yourself if right now you don't know that in the future you know you have this amazing family coming and um not only you but they will also be great and be very strong strong people and accomplished people ambitious people so yeah i think i'm gonna end it here i hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought about it in the comments this one was quite an interesting one and uh, if you're interested in a personal reading details about that are down below like and subscribe and i hope you have a great day bye hello group three you guys picked this page slash knight of cups and these are the cards you also got here you got the five of pentacles oh a joker so this i guess should be the fool and the seven of swords looking very interesting very diverse and happy family i'm also feeling from this card that maybe your family a lot of them will not be blood related or um related in any way uh, maybe a lot of them will be friends or you might marry into a whole different culture and i can see a lot of pets that's what i'm feeling a lot of pets for you you're probably going to have a lot of pets um so let's talk about this card if you guys are interested in having children or grandchildren i guess in the future i feel like i can see one potentially like look how he's looking at this little one here that looks like a child and it's is carrying his balloons but this little one looks a bit angry <laughs> i don't know if you can see um so maybe this child is going to have an attitude. <laughs> uh, but and, and kind of like a spunky child. And you're going to be looking after it like, oh, I love you. You're my only child. <laughs> and five of pentacles. And the, the joker, the fool coming through. Very fun, loving and free family. Also in the way that maybe you're you're not going to be that wealth uh, in finances um but you're going to be living more freely so you don't really need a lot of money to actually live and survive you might even move around a lot um with this fool as well just a lot of fun i'm seeing a lot of fun like i said pets maybe a cat a turtle for some of you a dog maybe um what else can we say about this hmm let's not let's not um wait let's get the other tarot cards here too to help me out <laughs> clearly i need help um so we have the ace of pentacles the four of pentacles the empress the two of pentacles the five of pentacles coming through again again telling me that especially at the start you are not going to be that uh, well off financially i can really see that and maybe you will not be so happy about it too i mean know that this is how i guess uh you planned out how you want to be with your family how you want your family to be i guess how you want to be so try to stay positive in that way and page of pentacles hmm I'm getting the feeling that your child might start working from an earlier age. Maybe you might accidentally, if you are going to have a child, you might accidentally put some negative beliefs onto it about money and finances. Um, 
but I'm also getting the feeling that the child, even though it's gonna have those, it's gonna be a hard worker. Just like you, I think you're also a hard worker. That's the feeling I'm getting at least. <laughs> and I, I feel like it's also going to somehow break free from that. Still work hard and everything, but also break free from the negative beliefs. I feel like you're... I'm getting the vibe of a single parent, which is not always, you know, what someone wants to hear. I don't know if you will be a single parent, but you might feel like you are. Um, or you might be getting enough, that much money and that it feels like only one person is earning. Again, with Four of Pentacles, that kind of poor attitude, um, poor mentality. And like I said, it's probably the um, experience that you want to have in this life. Ace of Pentacles, though, maybe you're going to end up buying a house or something. And then all the money will go into that house. So you'll have to work extra. I can feel that, you know, because of something, you're going to have to work extra. And although it's funny, the Empress is actually very abundant. The Two of Pentacles, though, juggling maybe two or more <laughs> jobs at the same time. Maybe having a business and uh, a side job at the same time. Working hard and you're teaching your child as well to be a hard worker too. You're definitely a nurturer. Like, you're a very mothering person, even if you're not a woman. Um to this child if there is a child this could be someone else if you're not gonna have a child this could be someone who is like really really close like family close to you but your whole family is probably definitely going to be very very down to earth as well um and maybe into going out into nature as well a lot but again there's a lot of this poor mentality and I don't know if anything I say here is going to really um, make you or help you get out of this mentality. Because, again, I, I feel like this is something you want to experience. Or at least the... the po I don't know if you're um, down to poverty. But, yeah, I really feel like it is something you want to experience. Like not having much. And still having fun, not having much and still feeling abundant, learning the right things, having fun with the right people, enjoying your time with your family, with your friends. Like I said, I feel like your family, a lot of it is going to be friends. Like, I don't know if you're going to have a personal family that's big. It might just be you. It might just be you and your spouse. It might just be you and your child. A lot of it might be friends as well that are your found family. And you're going to have a lot of fun. That's kind of part of what you... I feel like what you need to learn is to have a lot of fun. Um, and not care so much about um, how much money you have. How, what house you have. How, what car you have. Feeling abundant even without all of those things. Feeling like you have everything you need. And again, the Empress coming through twice. Very, very nurturing figure, motherly figure. You're someone who loves a lot. And I feel like maybe, I mean, it could be in your future to learn how to get out of this mental state, mindset of poverty and feel abundant, become abundant again, or not again, might not be again, <laughs> you might never have been abundant in your life, but um, in this current life at least, but it's about um, feeling abundant and then making that financial abundance in your life, feeling like you have everything, even if you don't have much money at all, 
And the other card we got here is the sickle. And I didn't talk about the Hierophant, actually. Um, I feel like you're... Again, I'm getting this feeling of someone who likes being in nature and thrives in nature. So if you're um, not going out into nature a lot now, you're probably not thriving as much as you could. <laughs> uh, you're, you're not at the full energy level you could be. You're not at the full, um, I guess, positive mindset that you could be. And with the sickle here, I can see that, I don't know, there's just going to be a lot to harvest. With the sickle, it's like an end of a cycle and you harvest. You're seeing the past, what's happened. I can see you looking back, like, happy. Um, like at the end of your life looking back yeah I still enjoyed my life I didn't have much but I loved it I had so many amazing experiences I had so much fun I learned so much I feel like learning and diving deep into spirituality is something as well for you and for your family for you to be a, a teacher maybe for your family as well um, teaching them about spirituality um, your friends as well, of course, and learning, just a lot of learning and having fun and looking back and just enjoying, just thinking, oh my God, I'm so abundant. I have beautiful friends. I have amazing friends. I have an amazing kid, if you do. Um, I have a place to live. I have food, you know, enough money for food. I have enough to pay the bills. I don't need anything more. I don't need fancy things. Enter the magic. Live in the now. Seize the moment. I think that as well is something that you will learn a lot here from your family. From being in this family, um, you will learn how to live in the now and seize the moment. Or you will teach your... If you're already doing this and good at this, you will teach your family to do this. So that's, again, very important to not look at financial success, to not look at... I mean, I was talking about looking at the past and feeling abundant and happy about it, but also not staying too much in the past, especially in a negative way, not focusing it on a ne in a negative way, and definitely not looking at the future and thinking, oh my God, I hope that I can do this, and I'm so anxious about what's going to happen. Am I going to have enough money? Am I, am I going to be able to do this? I'm going to... Yeah. That's definitely not something that you should be doing, especially when you start creating this family. Um, manifest your dreams. Focus on your vision. See satisfaction and contentment. So how you manifest your dreams and what you want is with spirituality and with spiritual means. It's not by working hard at your job it's not by working several jobs and i think that's something you're gonna learn and you're gonna again teach your family you're all gonna learn this together and you're all gonna manifest this and who knows maybe i mean i was talking before about the experience that you want to have maybe the experience you want to have is working really really hard to manifest this Though I can definitely see that it's more of something... Yeah, you still are going to put in the work. But a lot of it is going to be internal work as well. Spiritual work as well. How you will do this. And focusing on what's important to you. Not looking back. Not looking forward. Focusing on what's important. Perspective. None of this matters. Zoom out. Common ground. Like I said, I feel like you're going to... If you haven't yet, you're going to really realize that there's a lot of things you don't need a lot of materials you don't need a lot of things that you just might may have wanted at some point like trips you wanted to go on that you realize um why would i want to go there <laughs> what i'm thinking about is dubai a lot of people want to go there but why do you want to go there <laughs> just to go to a shopping center and to a lot of things that are man-made no you're someone who would thrive and benefit from going out into nature somewhere where you don't really need to pay a lot of money so I feel like again that's something that's going to be a strong theme for you um, and your family learning how to not rely on on physical things as much and 
not to not be greedy themes like this i hope you understand <laughs> Um, Star Keeper, Cosmic Ancestors see the light by staying grounded. Yet again, you're getting so many pentacles because you are someone who needs to stay grounded. I feel like you have very strong energy, but a very particular energy that you need to ground here. And that's, it could be a sign that maybe in your um, NATO chart, you have a lot of Earth as well. And... The reason you would have that is so that you can ground your energy and stay grounded. Because otherwise, if you didn't have it, you would be a bit um, too up in the clouds, maybe. Which you could be right now. Um, but later on, you will get a lot more grounded. And I feel like the people, maybe the kid that you're going to have in your life is also going to be like this, a very important soul carrying important energy. So it will be important to teach this child um, things about the universe, how it really works. Don't allow uh, people like teachers at the schools to teach them everything because there's a lot of things that they teach that is not just not correct. <laughs> it's just not right. Um, and I feel like you will have the knowledge, the proper knowledge to share with this child so that it can properly do it, its own mission here. And Fairy Godmother, get out of your shell and allow yourself to sing out loud with the music of the day. Maybe you guys are going to like singing together, dancing together, enjoying music together, going to concerts together. Although, again, that's something that's more money really. And I feel like that's you know, what you should stay away from. Um, not that you should never go to concerts. <laughs> I'm definitely not saying that. Um, but yeah, it's like opening up your shell. Maybe if you're shy, uh, you'll learn to open yourself up the more you are with these people. And it's something obviously that you'll be teaching your child to, to be open, to be creative. Yeah, interesting group number three. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to end it here. This is quite long, actually. Maybe it's the longest one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this made sense and, you know, gave you some insight into your future and into just your life plan. If you're interested in a personal reading, details on how to contact me are down below. And I hope you have a great day, group three. Bye.